last summer, a Planned Parenthood patient in Georgia realized that she was pregnant and didn't want to be. But Georgia bans abortion after six weeks. So she drove to South Carolina, but arrived the day that their six-week ban went into effect. She went back home and then went to Florida. But she arrived just days when she was too late under their ban. She had to fly all the way to California to get an abortion. Now remember, each time she had to get the money up, she had to miss work, she had to find childcare. Now imagine if this was an emergency situation. In Texas, doctors who have feared going to jail have sent patients to wait in hospital parking lots rather than provide the emergency care they need. And in Idaho, they have airlifted patients to other states. We cannot call ourselves a free nation when women are not free. More than one in three women, and nearly half of all black women, live in banned states. Donald Trump wants women to be less free and pregnancy to be more dangerous. But I'm here to tell you, in no way are Donald J. Trump and J.D. Vance more qualified than doctors and women to make these decisions. We decide. We trust women. We trust doctors. And we trust Kamala Harris. Our future, our future is on the ballot. Our bodies are on the ballot. And come November 5th, we will decide this election. Donald Trump said he wants to punish women. And as a result of his actions, today in America, one out of three women live in a state with a Trump abortion ban. One out of three. Some of these bans go back to the 1800s, even before women had a right to vote. Think about that. Well, Tim and I have a message for Trump and others who want to turn back the clock on our fundamental freedoms. We're 